Hello, and welcome back to the Bliss Feed. I have been working on developing a theory. In other words, I've just thought about something a couple of times and would like to share my thoughts on it. I call it the levels of happiness theory. This theory proposes that there are three basic levels to our happiness. So the first layer is how you're feeling in the moment. The second level is more kind of like how you feel about how your day is going or how your week is going. And finally, we have your foundational layer where it's like, how is your life going? How satisfied are you with your life? So those are the basic three levels and something I've noticed is that a lot of times I may not be happy in my very first layer. I might be having a really busy and fast paced day and so I'm feeling stressed and anxious and in the moment just not feeling great. However, I can still feel really content and satisfied with how the day is going and I can feel really content and satisfied with how my life is going. Like maybe I'm feeling stressed but I feel like that's all going to some bigger purpose. Like my life has meaning. At the same time, I can be feeling really lost and sad on that middle level but on the first level I'm watching The Office, so I'm laughing, life is good. And so as we can see, that first level is pretty easy to achieve. But what I want to do, and when I say I, I just mean like we, people in general, is find some sense of purpose and meaning in our lives. And it's not gonna be easy by any means, but a really awesome byproduct of that is gonna be feeling happy and joyful. So that's my theory, and you can pre-order my book on that coming out in 2020, never. Who are these kids outside? Get off my lawn. I will admit this theory of mine is pretty common sense stuff. Like we all know that we should be searching for purpose and meaning in our lives, but that's very vague advice and it's very difficult to concretely apply to your life. I do not want to for a second claim that a YouTube video will solve your problems and help you figure out your life's purpose, but we know that small regular habits can add up to big changes. So in this video, I wanted to share a couple of habits that you can incorporate to help you cultivate a mindset that will help to achieve happiness as a byproduct of it. Yes, let's do this. So the first habit that I want to talk about, something that I promote relentlessly, is journaling. And the way I see it, there's three kinds of journaling, past, present, and future. So the first kind, writing about the past, the purpose of that is to sort through your experiences and the thoughts and emotions that you have regarding those experiences. For example, when you're journaling in the evening, you might write about something really frustrating that happened that day and use your journal as a space to just vent all of your feelings. Once you're done, your mind feels clearer, you have a little bit more clarity, and you can kind of step back from the situation. You might realize that something wasn't as big of a deal as you thought it was, or you might realize that, yes, it actually was a big deal, but you can decide what your next action will be in a calmer and more reasonable way. The second purpose of journaling is to consciously choose your thoughts in the present. So maybe you woke up on the wrong side of the bed this morning, but in your journal, you would not dwell on that because as Oprah said, what you focus on expands. And when you focus on the goodness in your life, you create more of it. So instead, what you would write about is how the sun is shining outside, how beautiful the autumn leaves look, the delicious breakfast you're going to have. So you're literally pushing those negative thoughts aside and replacing them with positive ones and putting them in writing because putting stuff in writing makes it official. And then finally, future journaling. So you may have heard of this term scripting. Scripting is a practice where you place yourself in the future and write in the past or present tense. So maybe it's morning and you're looking at your day and you've got so much work to do or you have to give some scary presentation at school. So what you would do is you would pretend that it's now the the end of the day and you're looking back at the day and you're writing about how quickly you got all of that work done, how easy it was, how perfectly your presentation went, and you are choosing that that is the kind of day that you are going to have today. You can also just fit little bursts of journaling into your day. It doesn't have to be a sit down and write three pages kind of thing, although I do encourage you to try that once in a while. If you don't want to do that on the daily, there's this app that I really like and I've partnered with them in the past, so OG viewers will remember, but it's called Daily Haloha. So Daily Haloha is a free app that every day gives you a little mindful prompt to answer. I showed it to you back when I did my morning routine video and I think it's the perfect kind of thing to do as part of your morning routine because it really sets the tone for the day but really you can do it whenever you have a minute so maybe you're standing in line instead of going to social media you can answer their daily prompt. So today the prompt was today I'm going to give the gift of my full attention to blank and I answered going on an outdoor autumn walk slash run more of a walk than a run, but you send that off into the world and then you get to see someone else's response and react to it. And then they show you a wall full of responses from people all over the world. So some recent prompts have been, by the end of the year, I'd like to blank. My heart flutters when blank. The most exotic meal I've had was blank. 
So there's so much variety. I just really like this app because it encourages me to think in different ways. So I often find myself writing the same things over and over in my journal. It would be so boring to read through. But then when Daily Haloha asks something like, what's the most exotic meal you've ever had? Suddenly I am looking back at and reminiscing on memories that I haven't thought about in a really long time. Happy memories. And then also reading everyone else's responses is just really nice. It creates a sense of community, which I think we really, really need at this time. So today, if you go on the app, if you're watching this on Friday, otherwise, I'm sorry, you are out of luck. The prompt is actually one that I wrote and it has to do with the topic of this video. So if you head to the link in the description and download Daily Haloha, you can see what it is because I'm not gonna tell you what it is. You have to go see for yourself. All right, the next habit I wanna talk about is stop complaining. Complaining can be really fun, I know, but I think you have to be aware of when it's fun and when it's just bringing you down for no reason and bringing down people around you. Like maybe you have a ton of homework and you're getting really stressed out about it and you're just sitting there going, ah, oh, this is stupid. The teacher thinks this is the only class we have. How could you give us only two days? I hate this. And then you text your friends and you complain about it together. Now, yes, there is some power in humor and I think it can be fun to joke around with friends. It can be a great stress reliever. We have to be really careful that you're not dwelling on it so much that it's creating more stress and also that you're not relinquishing the power that you have over your life. So allow me to explain that. With the homework example, instead of complaining about the big assignment, which is probably just gonna stress you out, make you miserable and less productive as a result, you can instead choose positive thoughts and actions. So maybe when you find out about the assignment, you can text your friends a funny gift, but then after that, put the phone away and tell yourself that you are so capable of getting this work done and you're gonna get it done so quickly and you're gonna get an A because you are just that good. Or you can take some sort of an action like asking for an extension on the assignment if you know that you're gonna need it. This will all move you towards a solution and towards getting out of the problem rather than just sitting there, which is gonna accomplish nothing. Thing. Now it's difficult to make a decision just like that and feel like I am never going to complain a single time in my life ever again. And so I think a good way to kind of dip your toe into this is with some sort of a challenge. So maybe you challenge yourself to a day of no complaining and see what that feels like. It'll probably be uncomfortable at first and you'll have to stop yourself and shut yourself up before you say stuff. But once you do that, the urge to complain kind of passes, you get back to whatever you are doing and it starts to kind of train you to not have those urges to complain in the first place. Now what you can replace those negative complaints is segue gratitude. Again, it's hard to just say like from now on, I will be grateful. That's like writing a new year's resolution to be healthier. So a really simple way to start is just every day, write down three things that you're grateful for, really feel into that gratitude and that's it. Habit stacking really helps here, so you're more likely to remember to do this if you tie it to an existing habit. For example, naming three things you're grateful for as you brush your teeth. Personally, I've tied it to my journaling habit, so after I finish my morning or my evening journal entry, right below that, I just make a list of three things that I'm grateful for. By doing this, you're consciously turning your attention to what is good, leaving less and less room for negative thoughts, because remember what Oprah said, what you focus on, you create more of. Yes, good job. And the nice thing about gratitude is that there pretty much is always something good to focus on. To start with, if you are in good health right now, that can be number one on your gratitude list every single time. A healthy man wants a thousand things, a sick man only wants one. If you haven't read it, I would highly recommend the book Man's Search for Meaning by Viktor Frankl. Frankl was an Austrian psychiatrist who spent three years in concentration camps under truly unimaginable conditions. And in his book, he writes about about how in order to stay alive, the survivors had to find purpose and meaning in the absolute darkest of moments. Everything can be taken from a man but one thing, the last of the human freedoms, to choose one's attitude in any given set of circumstances, to choose one's own way. Alrighty, meditation. For me, I see meditation as just training a muscle. It trains your mind to be more positive, more empathetic, more focused on the present. So at its basic, all you have to do to meditate is set a timer, find a quiet and comfortable place to sit. I like to have a pillow underneath me because if I don't, then all I can think about the entire time is how uncomfortable my back is. And for the duration of that time, you just focus on your breath. Whenever your attention drifts, you just gently pull it back and that's it. One of my favorite kinds of meditations you've probably heard of is called loving kindness meditation. It's where you basically sit and like telepathically send love to other people. That's a very, very simplified and terrible explanation of it. But you send love to yourself, to people you get along with, to people you don't get along with, to people you don't even know, to the whole world. We always hear that if you're feeling sad and lost, you kind of have to 
counterintuitively stop thinking about yourself and start thinking about what you can do for other people. So I find the loving kindness meditation a really effective way to get me out of my own head, step outside of myself and feel better by wishing for others to feel better basically. And last but not least, a habit you can incorporate is repeating affirmations. So an affirmation is a positive statement that you repeatedly think or say to yourself throughout the day. This can be really broad, so maybe you're working on your self-confidence, then your affirmation might be, I am strong and capable of anything I set my mind to. Or it could be tied to a very specific goal, like I love reading for 30 minutes every day and learning new things. I made this worksheet for writing your own affirmation and the link is in the description. You can also just find really long lists of affirmations online. Just pick a few that resonate with you and surround yourself with them. It's kind of like fake it till you make it. You might not really believe what you're saying at first, but if you tell yourself this positive story over and over and over again, eventually you'll kind of just have to accept it. If the stories you're currently telling yourself are negative, like I never do well on tests so it doesn't matter how much I study, or I'm too lazy to be productive so why even bother trying, that's exactly the kind of reality that you will remain in nothing will change. So if you notice those negative thoughts in your thought patterns, what you can do is literally take a thought and rephrase it, reprogram it. Oh, I have so much studying to do for finals because I've been studying so hard, I will ace these finals and get the grade I want. It's so cold and miserable outside because it's a great day to have a cozy night in and read a book or watch a movie. This event will be so stressful because I will have so much fun meeting new people at this cool event. Remember, you might not believe it, but you have to say it until you do. So I hope you found some helpful tips in here that you can pick out to help you be happier. I hope you have a great day and feel happy on all three levels. I still need to work on developing that theory, but hopefully it was somewhat interesting to listen to. You can check out the Daily Aloha app in the description and answer the prompt that I wrote, and I will see you next week. Bye!